Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, well, we're just kind of killing time so we can prove our existence to society. Whatever that means. But before we get to the fun stuff, your boy has a soft reset for proficiency. I know, what a pain. Nice. Oh my god, finally, I can start recording the episode. Yay! I know, this is not fun. <laughs> At all. But I'm trying to do 100%, so we kind of need every advantage we can get. Ugh, finally our day off. We don't have to do anything, we can just enjoy ourselves and... Hey, I saw on the forum. Nice job sticking into that stalker. My Phantom Fishing Auto website came in handy. Didn't it? What? What, what are you talking about? It's too early for this, Mishima. Can you shut the frick up? It's okay. You don't have to say it. I know deep down in my heart that it was useful. What? Anyway, I'm in Shibuya right now. I love you to come hear me out about your future actions. I'll be waiting at the diner in Shibuya. You gotta swing by. What is he up to? Have things been? You know, with the special activities. Ah. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night. Every night. I think it's called PR. <laughs> you want to know more? Basically, there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved, while filtering out the haters. We need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? Of course it is! The principles the Phantom Thieves represent really resonate with me. I mean, you guys are bringing rotten adults like Kamoshida to justice. How could I not be on board with that? So, actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. After all, the Phantom Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. I... I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. I'm gonna use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is gonna be at my mercy. Or, uh, at my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. Strategic image management representative. Rolls off the tongue, don't you think? Anyway, I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. <sighs> I've gotta say though, managing the Phantom Thieves' reputation is tiring work. The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. It'd defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. Oh, but you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Our quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. Overworking myself, though. <sighs> Man, I'm exhausted. <sighs> I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. 
I should head home. See you later. Never thought I'd need a PR manager in my life, but here we are. Oh, hey, listen to this. I was checking the fan site earlier, and I found a bunch of hater comments about the Phantom Thieves. Ugh, got me so mad, I'm not even sleepy anymore. At this point, I might as well pull an all-nighter fighting back. What? Why would you do that? Mishima, just chill out, bro. Calm down. It's not that serious. Don't lose sleep over this, literally. Don't worry, I'm cool. Staying up after an all-nighter gives me this natural high, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna work my butt off. Just watch me. Uh, okay, have fun. Well, duty calls. I better set out for the battle of the fan site. Time for a wild night of modding and banning. Don't have too much fun, man. Is this how you're spending your day off? I mean, I guess it's fun to him, but personally, deleting hater comments? That's just silly. You should have people that criticize you out in the open, because otherwise, that's just censorship. And hey, by the way, exams are coming up, but you're fully prepared already because you're not. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, but uh, yeah. Mishima's an interesting fellow. Now listen Make sure you stay away from any places that might be dangerous. Bro, you know me. It's Sunday. I'm getting my smoothie on. And come on. Would they put such a delicate, beautiful flower, such as the smoothie girl, in a dangerous place? Maybe. Maybe that's the tragic tale of the smoothie lady. This lady I give $50 a week to slowly poison me over time. It's kind of messed up. Maybe this is Stockholm Syndrome, but, uh, the nasty, bitter, disgusting juice. What? What? Is it a popular item? This literally is disgusting. Gah! But you know what? It'll increase our guts. Because it's slowly killing us from the inside. Nah, it's probably good for you. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, now to afford that disgusting drink, it's time to do our night job. Oh boy, I can't wait to get underpaid. Ah. So, <laughs> starting from today onward, you actually, oh frick. I didn't take my own advice. Okay, that's bad. You need to save before you do the beef bowl job because if you mess up, you don't get your stats and oh, there's a lot of people. There's a ton of customers coming in all of a sudden. Uh, you're gonna be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. Uh, large beef bowl, please. One large natto bowl, please. A uh, Hugh Guro bowl? Give me a barbecue bowl. Okay, I got this. Yes. I got this. All right, stay calm and remember the or RDF and forgot. No, well, the first person, I'm yeah, pretty beef. That was it. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. And the next guy is Nato, I think. Well, the second person, I don't know, bro. Uh, Nato, because he didn't ask for barbecue. I remember that. And the lady asked for the thing I cannot physically pronounce because I was born in the south. Um, yeah, he, yeah, that thing. Nice. Yep, that's what I heard too. <laughs> and the last one's barbecue. Okay, we made it, bro. A little tricky, but hey, wow. we managed. Like seriously, if I messed up, I'd have to restart the episode. And all right, now you just have to make everything and serve them. Oh yeah, that's the easy part. You, you appeared to have a difficult time there. What do you mean I did on the first try? Shut up, man in suit. What do you know? I'm sorry, that was rude. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You are extremely busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real problem in the workplace. That's concerning. Mm. I should remember this. Yo, you gonna order anything well, or like? I'll see you again. I'll leave my payment here. Thank you for the food. You didn't need anything. Like seriously, his bowl's empty. Hey, hey. What? Uh, was that politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was worried about employees in the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. And thus, we proved ourselves to society? <laughs> we should go in the station square next time. Yeah, we'll get to that. Hi. Whoa, good work. This one employee strategy is really paying off. It seems there are a lot of customers today, but you handled it well. We were as crowded today as we usually get on Yakiniku Day. I wonder if there's some event happening nearby. Thanks in advance. I paid you a little extra today. Good work. Keep it up. Heck yeah. Whoa, that's actually a big boost. Thanks, man. I mean, I'm your only employee at this time of hour. But yo, why is he... Why, he's never in his store. Does he even... What? You're amazing today. Dealing with that many orders. I'm sure it was rough. I think you handled it quite proficiently. Yeah, I did all right. We got a big boost to proficiency. And we met 
A person with a portrait, which means they're important. So all around, a pretty good day. I don't know. I mean, I mess up, so <laughs> I think so. What? Well, what's up with the goggles? Are you a Digi Dustin? You going snowboarding or something? I hear the cedar's blooming later than usual. Climate change and what have you. Uh, pollen allergies suck. I God, I don't have to worry about that. I couldn't go to the mountains even if I wanted to. My eyes and nose would be gushing like rivers. Ugh, that sounds awful. Seems pretty. That's rough. right. The new said pollen season was starting later than usual this year. Looks like pollen problems only just begun. They're about to have some itchy eyes. This might affect mementos too. But you didn't hear it from me. Cause how would I know that? Morning. Uh. Allergies? Oh, uh, maybe. I do feel kind of dazed and everything feels weird. But, um, actually, I've been having this feeling that someone's watching me. Uh, I hope not. Oh, uh, maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. At the palace, we're always cautious of not being noticed, you know? So it has to be my imagination. <laughs> yeah. What's going on with On, man? What the crow? Why do girls have to deal with this crap? That's two stalkers in back-to-back -back episodes. Hey, don't you think the atmosphere school's kind of different? You mean with there being no Kamoshida? I guess. Yeah, nobody ever talked about him in the open like this before. Weird. I mean, yeah, that's true, but I kind of just came here, so, uh... I wish someone just thank us for it or something. Ugh. Either way, everything's worked out for the best, so... After all, Kamoshida's actually been punished for his crimes. Yeah, that's good. That victory's enough for me. I agree. We shouldn't really seek fame and fortune. Ah! I wonder what's gonna happen to him now. I mean, he's a famous criminal at this point, right? Mm, he's gonna get to deal with people hating him forever. I guess, yeah. That might be true, but I don't have any sympathy for him. He got what he deserved. Fo Showa. He said for sure. I'd like to have some fun with Ryuji. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, pollen's in the air, and it looks really, really silly, as you'll soon find out after this text combo. Hey, I have some new info for you. I saw it on the fan site, but heard around school, too. Anyway, there's a guy at school who's been bullying's gone too far. I want to help the victim, but that's impossible for me. But I bet the Phantom Thieves could do something about it. I mean, you already changed the heart of that stalker, so this should be a breeze, right? Oh man, he kind of one-shot Morgana, but yeah, I'll try. <laughs> You're amazing! The bully's a brown-haired guy you frequently seen standing out front of the school entrance. And from what I can tell, his name is Daisuke Takanashi? Yeah, I know you can handle this. Oh, you got info on a new target, huh? I know this is a small case, but we have a name. So we should be able to consider him a target. And the bark and bite of a bully will be received. But we're not going to do that right away. We got info from Ishima. Let's go to the hideout stat so we can not do it. If we're all here, you want to go to Mementos, right? What are you talking about? Don't we need to study for exams? Come on. Let's go. Nah, don't worry about that stuff. Let's ignore the details and just go charge it in head first. Um... That sounds like a bad plan, and that's easy for you to say, but we don't even have a target. It's actually not a problem anymore. So Mentos come in from Mishima. Good right. for us. Oh, perfect timing. Let's go in right now, then. Uh, you really do anything to avoid studying, huh? <laughs> yeah, exams are coming up soon, and... It seems like a scumbag thing to do, but we kind of want to collect a whole bunch of requests and then head into Mementos. Uh, I guess I'll study at home, then. Oh, she seems sad. Look at that pollen. Like, seriously. Crap is thick. Ugh. I luckily don't have any allergies, but man, can't be pleasant for people that do. But uh, yeah, today, instead of going to Mementos and using our time inefficiently, I guess, I don't know. 
I could see the pros and cons. We're gonna spend time with Ryuji and further his confidant. Hey, so you now we've been looking for somewhere to train? Yeah. Well, I finally found a spot. We're free to do whatever we want. How about we head over? That does sound pretty promising. And training is fun. Let's hang out. It's a gym over in Shibuya. Pretty dang cheap, too. Mm -hmm. Come on, I'll show you the way. Man, Ryuji's just showing us around town. We're learning about all the new places. This looks scary. Oh, uh, what the heck? That sign is odd. Here we are. Protein Lover's Gym. Eh, not bad, huh? It's pay per visit, so you don't gotta worry about any BS contracts or nothing. That is pretty nice. The equipment's kinda crappy, but they got tons of variety. Plus, it's real dang cheap. Totally worth it. Even without a pool or hot tub. Yeah, we can get by without those. By the way. Oh, yeah. You bring your stuff? Uh, my protein powder? No, I can pick that up later, though, right? Heck yeah, man. If you want to beef up, you got. Uh, wait, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm talking about spare undies. What? What? Getting back in your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Uh, can't relate. Oh, but don't get in your hopes up. Now I'm gonna let you use mine. Uh, I'm good. Going? Anyway, let's head in. What? Okay. Ryuji, I. What is with this guy? <laughs> so funny. Oh man, and also really tired apparently. Uh, whoo! My form's coming back, but ah, I don't got any stamina, man. God, I need protein powder. <coughs> Sakamoto? Uh, uh oh. Another track friend? Morning. Hey, Adekida Senpai! What's bonkin? What? what uh, bonkin? You say the strangest things. Is that how you greet a friend? Okay, he's friendly. <laughs> Fists unclenched. I've been trying to come up with this new cool slang. <laughs> Maybe it'll catch on. Who knows? Y you can't just do that. Ugh. Oh, you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I've already graduated, remember? Hmm, haven't seen you before. Were you on the track team? Uh, not really. Ah, uh, he's the... the friend. <laughs> By the time he showed up, the track team was already... Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, <laughs> God. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Uh, I'm managing, as you can probably hear. How about you, senpai? You still running? He just told you, don't call him senpai. I actually joined my university's track team. You think I would have quit entirely after what happened? Uh, about that. I'm real sorry, man. Nah, I should be the one apologizing. Hmm? What's he talking about? I was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I resigned myself to Kamoshida's will. God, Kamoshida this, Kamoshida that, I'm sick of him. It's because you needed him to write you a letter of wreck, right? You were just looking out for your future, man. But I still managed to F it up anyways. Kamoshida clearly never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. You were just his excuse not to, okay? And honestly, I enjoy where I am now. Track team isn't anything special, <laughs> but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Sakamoto. Dang, how about that? Uh, uh, senpai? I've always regretted not doing more to protect you guys. <sighs> but I heard some good news recently. The Shujin track team is being reinstated. Oh, for real? <laughs> you said you beat me to it. <laughs> I mean, Kamoshida confessed all the horrible stuff he did, right? So, I guess the school got the old team together and told them they wanted to try starting it up again. Hey, that's great! Uh, nobody told me about that. Huh, odd. Rumor got as far as me and I'm not even a student anymore. Anyway, I heard they're going to get Mr. Yamauchi as their new advisor. Okay, sounds huh? good. Yamauchi? Hold up. That Yamauchi? Oh no. Yeah, the one who's basically Kamoshida's lapdog. Apparently he volunteered. He's really enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes or whatever. <laughs> he is, huh? You know, now the team's been reinstated. There's no need for any bad blood, right? 
Why don't you go talk to them? I'm sure they could use someone with your passion. Mm, yeah, that doesn't sound bad. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I think that went well. So the track team's coming back, huh? Good for them. You, you seem kind of conflicted, Ryuji. What's going on, man? Even though it's just plain text. I can feel what he's saying. Uh, nah, not really. It's just... For real, though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet that Nakuoka and them get to start training again, and... But I'm still worried about their advisor, Yamauchi. He's basically like a mini Kamoshida, dude. So he's really short. <laughs> so he an a-hole, is what you're saying. Uh, uh yeah. Basically. <laughs> He'd always yell at us, practice, but... That'd be a huge kiss-up when our parents were around. It makes me sick. Ugh, can't believe a moron like that's gonna be advising the track team. He doesn't even teach P.E., dude! Yeah, that's kind of a bad fit. He's gotta be up to something. Ugh. I'll do some research. Ryuji, you need to study. Exams are like next week. There's a chance I'm gonna need your help, too. Okay? You'd be free to lend me a hand if I need it, yeah? I'll be counting on you. Sure thing, bro. I gotcha, but seriously, please study. I want to see you next year, too. Well, I won't be able to see him next year because we're transferring out, but... Come on, Ryuji! Right. We gotta get into a good school and all that! Make your mom proud! But yeah, we're already halfway done with this confidant. It's hard to believe, and... All right! We don't get any time to be messing around here anymore. What? We... Let's head home. Wait, I, I gotta shower first. Uh, okay. See ya. I'm honestly not too big in showering at the gym. I'll just do it at home. I guess my home was always close to the gym, so that was nice, but, uh, yet again, as we try to return home... Yo, what's bonking? Dude, stop saying that. <laughs> about this stuff today, I can't really let myself be happy about the track team starting up again. Dang, he's concerned. Like I said earlier, there's just something fishy about Yamauchi being the advisor, you know? But, I mean, if anything happens, I know you got my back. <laughs> so I ain't too worried. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> don't worry, I got you. I don't know what we can do, but I'll try my best. Thanks, man. I knew I could count on you. <sighs> I mean, we don't know for sure if anything sketchy's going on, but when I got these gut feelings, they're usually right. Well, if I hear anything, I'll hit you up. Sounds good, bro. Okay, later. God, what is up with this specific school? And run, adults. It's basically a meme at this point. Back. But, uh, hey, Sojiro. Hey, there, there's Beef Bowl Politician. Maybe you should go do that tonight. I don't think it, no. Apparently, he gives speeches at Shibuya Station. You can't judge a book by its cover. True. As your hint to be like, hey, maybe I should do that. This is a confidant that, uh... Wait, what, what the heck? This is new. I didn't know that was a thing. Huh. I literally just pressed the wrong button. I learned something. Anyway, what was I saying? Frick, this is a confidant, which is very finicky, but it is very, very helpful. You don't need a matching arcana to even advance it to. Oh, look at all that pollen. The power of the PS4, bro. HD pollen textures. But yeah, you don't need a matching arcana. Just talk to this guy Please and help you out. And there has been too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The runaway train incident, mysterious psychotic breakdowns, a school with a corrupt teacher. We have yet to discover the truth of it all. The apathy that permeates society is a direct result of negligence by our government and the media. What? You. Oh, you're listening quite attentively. Yeah, I'm like in your personal space. Are you interested in politics? Uh, sure, whatever, old man. Ah. Are you a student, by chance? I'm delighted to captivate the interests of someone your age. Hmm? Have I seen you somewhere before? Yeah, I, I try to feed you, but you just left and paid me. It was weird. Oh, you're working in the beef bowl, yes? You have a lot of perseverance for a young person. Maybe too much. If like. <laughs> well, if you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need the power of the youth. The power! However, due to certain regulations, I can't offer you a job. Bummer. 
so I'm not getting paid. I was thinking you could learn some things if you chose to attend a few of my speeches, though. Yeah, I can tolerate you, I guess. Really? <laughs> that would be helpful indeed. <laughs> I'm just being mean to him. I actually like this character. Well then, do you mind telling me your name and contact information? Ah, yes, you're a student from Shujin. It's nice to meet you. Right back at you, bro. I'm Toranosuke Yoshida. You'll never say my first name ever again. I used to be a member of the Diet, but no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. God, that's rough. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my speech. Very well. Well then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. Yeah, bro, I got you. What do I do exactly? Hopefully it's not too hard. Oh, just hold up a sign. Cool. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. Dang. Tell him. Tell him. However, even in this modern day and age, it is impermeative that we act in the best interests of all. A world where it's acceptable to trample on the rights of others for your own benefit. A world where the young exist only to be exploited is a world that must be changed. Woo! Tell <laughs> Easy for him to say. Old timers like me have our hands full taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points. But he's a no-name. He probably won't get too far. Hey, that's mean. Nothing's gonna change. I'll just keep getting exploited. What? What's this wannabe politician blathering about now? He isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave the matters of the state in the capable hands of the liberal Crow Prosperity Party? I, I, you mustn't base your decisions on whom to support merely a according to the party they belong to. Ah, shut up already. You're just a washed up politician. Uh, if I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I am fully prepared to... in the best interests of all. Ha! <laughs> Save the blathering for when you get elected. If you get elected. God, this dude is mean. Holy crud. Thank you. Thank you. That is all for today. Well, uh, <laughs> what did you think of my speech? It was great, but holy crud, that guy was tearing into you. I would have cried, but I got glasses, so you can't really see people when they're crying, you know, but you don't. Oh, don't worry about that. Such as I am, I'd like to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. Yeah, you're pretty good. I liked it. However, there are times like today when the audience has a... Difference of opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? I mean, no. It's never too early to start changing the world, right? You got my support, Yoshida. You're looking out for the young people. I like Thank that. You. <laughs> it's encouraging to know that my message has won you over. Thank you. Besides, I have grown quite accustomed to those types of reactions. Hmm. Your comment section's rude too, huh? <laughs> no. Although, I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. I think I can learn a lot from this guy. Specifically his speeches. They are pretty moving. Well, I shall see you again soon. Perhaps I'll ask for your impressions again sometime. Sometime soon, maybe. No, just on Sundays? Okay, well, what can you do? <laughs>
Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. Um, literally, who the crud are you? Wow, you and this girl are really friendly. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyway, back to school. Exams start tomorrow. Are you all ready? <laughs> nope. Now then, picking up from last time, the end of the Heian period marks the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Me too. As described in the tale of the Heike, it was a time where all that was great would fall from grace. That sucks. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. By the way, sympathizing with the loser or the weak is called magistrate's patronage. Pretty cool, huh? That term came from the Minamoto no Yoshitsune's position, and it also became a way of referring to him as well. Well, all right. Kurusu? Oh, crap. Hey, I know that guy. Do you know the answer? You know the time period Yoshitsune was active in. Don't you? <laughs> you kidding me? Ah, yeah. To I think that's it. Yeah, sure. Woo. Correct. That's right. Wow, you know a lot about samurais for. Him. Well, anyway, he supported his brother Yori Tomo during the Heian period, but despite his contributions in defeating the Taira, he was driven out by his brother and ultimately executed. Tragic, I know. However, in this centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. So, he's an underdog, and also the most powerful samurai ever, and if you play Persona games, what the f It doesn't make sense. It's like, yeah, I'll move- Oh, Frick, we got this da- Dude! We're knowledge level two, which means we're now prepared for our exams. Nice! Rather than siding with the one who's overwhelming power, people prefer the underdog opposing them. And sorts of like rooting for a minor league baseball team instead of an all-star major league one. You get it. Imagine the, yep. the katana instead of a bat. You get it. I can understand that. It's like, what if, if I don't root for him, who will? The irony of that statement, you will soon find out. Because Yoshitsune, I don't know what Atlas's obsession with him is. Overwhelmingly guys? broken. And hey, your exams are coming up. Also mementos. Also this. Also that. Also, hey. Someone drew Ryuji's little thing. On the chalkboard. I don't know. I like that design. The first calling card. It's cool. And speaking of our local artist, we're going to spend time with him again because why the Yo. jump not? He's like the homie. By the way. Hey, uh, do you remember that guy Yamuchi was talking about before? Uh, maybe. Yeah, the, <laughs> the mini me Kamoshida. I remember. Yeah, that's him. Well, he's going to be the new track team advisor, so that's bad news. He. Don't give a rat's booty about the sport team, though. Or even the students, man. So you see, I heard this rumor. <laughs> Apparently he's gotten in trouble at school before with his drinking. But that hasn't kept him from going out. So, you know what I'm thinking? Maybe he let some crap slip while he's drunk. That was eerie. I predicted what he said before he even said it. That's how much I'll play his persona. I'll be looking out where he drinks. But in the meantime, what's the plan for today? You gonna train with me? Yeah, we'll crow now, bro. We got slime. We got time. Let's spend with Ryuji and get that up. Well, let's get changed then. We can meet at, uh, somewhere's gotta be open. Let's try looking around school. Or we could go to the actual gym we literally just went to. There's nothing wrong with that place or so not okay. Man, we really don't got a good place to train, huh? Bummer. I mean, we could probably run into Nakuoka and them if we stuck around here. Eh... You got any ideas? Yeah, the gym. Literally, why? You can't even pick the gym though, because that's not the option. We gotta say, we can train in my place, bro. Come on over, it'll be fun. You seriously think we get any training done there? I bet we just end up eating ice cream and playing video games all day. Doesn't sound so bad. That's just kind of what happens, you know? <laughs> Could be fun though. Eh, I guess it won't hurt to peek around the gym. Hey there, maybe we can, uh, you know. No, I don't know. I was waiting for that. That's not Kawoka scream. I've recognized it everywhere. There it is. Who? Takeshi. The heck are you guys doing? Ow. That hurt my ears. We just have a few questions for Nakaoka. None of your business. So what? You gonna ask questions with your fists? And anyway, ain't a three-on-one kind of cowardly? 
I'm just gonna do one at a time. I mean, uh, the only coward here is Nakawoka. Well, the crap of Kamashita put us through is his fault. He was telling the secrets to him the whole time. Whoa. What? That, that's a load of bull. Is it really though? But come on, you guys should trust your teammate. Seriously, what's wrong with you? That's right. You've been all training together for freaking ever, dude. Mm. Plus, ain't the track team coming back? You don't even gotta fight! Sh shut up! <laughs> Witty, I'm telling you, this POS sold us out. How do you think Kamashita found out about your parents, Sakamoto? Uh, that's a good question. He's gotta be a snitch. Whoa! Uh, uh, hey, hold up! Come on! Out of the way, Sakamoto. We'll beat the crap out of you, too. If we need to. <laughs> Good luck, bro. It's got seven endurance. If you think that's gonna make you feel better, go for it. But you're gonna wish you didn't. Whoa. <laughs> that's scary. Trust me. It feels real bad looking back on the cruddy stuff you've done. Uh, uh huh? Look, even if Nakoka was working with Kamoshida, ain't it fine now? He's gone. So you guys can just put this crap behind you. He's right. There's no reason to fight. Yeah? We can't just keep people around who's gonna try and undermine our team. This guy, man. But I didn't do anything. I wasn't working with Komoshida. No matter how much she hit me, my answer's gonna stay the same. Oh yeah? Well, we've got proof. But how's that possible? Yamauchi told us all about it. Huh? Uh, Yamauchi? Are you serious? Come on, Takeshi. We gotta get out of here. It'd be real bad if anyone else showed up. Then we'd be outnumbered, and that would suck. Now, Koka, crap like you isn't welcome on our new track team. You better remember that! Well, that wasn't pleasant. Hey, you okay? What the heck was all that, man? Just stay out of this, Sakamoto. It's got nothing to do with you. Uh, what? But, but... When you hit Kamoshida, you're really hitting all of us who tried so hard to endure his BS. But that's in the past. You might have felt relieved, but only made life harder for us. Because of you, we lost the one place we could vent our frustrations. The one place we could really belong. Man, talk about our grudge. Tension got really high after that, and things just kind of been rough from then on. You really think it's all fine now, huh? Well, but what if I told you? They were right about me. Would you still think it's fine if I was the one who told Kamashita about your parents? <sighs> yeah. If you told him, you told him. I'm over all that stuff with my parents anyway. Dang. Besides, uh, I've realized something, Nakuoka. I might have messed up with Kamashita back then, but hanging on to the past ain't gonna help anything. Just gonna focus on being myself from now on. Being free. Dang. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Free, huh? <laughs> Loser. Yeah, get out of here, punk. Man, that makes me mad. God, what a hey. turd. Hey, you get what I'm saying, do you, yeah? <laughs> Dude, it's crystal clear. Seriously, these guys are dumb. Right? He's the one who wasn't making any sense. Come on, after I just defended him. I guess being free is like, uh, it's like how I feel when I'm talking to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't talk to myself, so I, can you explain? That doesn't really work. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just, I just feel free. So like, we go to the convenience store and buy. <laughs> We're stuck on repeat or something? <laughs> I'm just messing. This is what boys do. We make silly jokes that literally don't make sense. And we also constantly get into fights. And we also smack the crap at each other, but this time that's beneficial with the Harry Sian recovery. Sometimes Ryuji will smack the main character and cure him of his status ailments. Pretty nice, and man, that was some funny crap. Ah. <sighs> So much for training, though, huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, we kind of don't let's do go. a lot of training. Oh, we should go grab some ramen on the way home. 
But we didn't even train, Ryuji. What's the point of a post-workout meal if we didn't work? It was fine. We'll be okay. God, I sure love this alleyway. Yo, you good right now, dude? What? No, I'm a little gassy after the ramen, but... Oh, I mess with the track team? Guess I was right about my gut feeling. Ugh. Now Golka can be weirdly stubborn sometimes. I'll keep his mouth shut whether or not someone's punching him. That's not good. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like you too. No. We gotta pick this one. Should punch back is what you're saying? Whoa, hey, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. No violence, period, dude. Not cool, man. I mean, sometimes it's cool, but I thought you were supposed to be the pacifist. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying there's got to be another way to solve this instead of just going dark, you know? Let's save that for the shadows. And that Yamauchi's name came up again. I swear, something about that dude is so shady. Like a shadow. Whoa. Okay, that's it. I'm going to do a full investigation. I'll hit you up if I find anything later. Okay. Maybe you should do an investigation of your textbook. Nope. Ryuji, you know, we can give him crap all day, but he got stuff done. Uh, Not a schoolwork, though. Never that. But I wonder if Yoshida is giving... Yeah, we gotta do that tonight. But I don't know if I want to do that in this episode, because he, he can go on for a bit. Instead, let's waste time by playing a crossword. This one, I... Crap, I don't have it written down. Frick. Okay, I'm just gonna have to guess. But what are the May Blues? My favorite version of Super Smash Brothers. Malaise. <laughs> no, it's just a pun. <laughs> In Japan, the May Blues are named as such due to the changes of seasons and the number of people who fall ill after the long holiday at April's end. Similar terms are used across the world. Students in the USA get the September Blues after summer vacation, while the UK has the January Blues to contend with. Has anyone in America ever heard of September right, Blues before? Usually I just call it, dang bro, school sucks. That doesn't really sound as poetic, does it? Huh? But uh, yeah, if you didn't get your knowledge increased during class, you can get it now and hopefully do okay on your exams. So Jiro will give you a tiny reward if you do. You and you're under probation, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he's just gonna start circling through his things. So I should probably stop reading them, but I like Sojiro. Somehow, yet again, Stockholm Sojiro. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, but. Yeah, I want to start this new confidant as soon as we can because it's definitely one of the more beneficial ones since good old Yoshida is actually pretty reliable. But uh, for now, that's all the time we got. Our school exams are coming up real soon and the pollen is as thick as ever. My God, look at that. It's so gross. And pollen doesn't even affect me. I don't know how it makes other people feel, but... Huh. Anyway, thanks again. <laughs> Just went on a little tangent there. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time with more Persona 5 Royal, where hopefully we'll ace our exams. Truly the hardest challenge yet, unless you have a cell phone service so you can just look up the answers. But yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.